Hello there, Bloodborne loving peeps. Welcome back to my channel. I am at it again. I downloaded Bloodborne all over again because my crew members convinced me to. Mostly because they tempted we tempted me with co-op play, which I always am up for co-op these days, which I used to not be. But I am tasked today to be able to show you the Hunter's Tools since I'm more of a strategy queen. So I use whatever other resources available other than just my skill for fighting. I have no skill for fighting. So there's a few things I want to point out. So I started off with the Hunter's Axe. So of course I ended up leveling up strength, which I'm going to show you over here. This is my leveling currently right now in a second playthrough. I have a lot in strength because this is the type of build I was using. I was using an axe, basically larger base weapons that can deal a lot more damage and not so much in skill. But there's a way of creating a mage build in this game, but it's not particularly like magic because what it's called is hunter's tools, which can, which can deal some form of supernatural damage to things it's some very basic like elemental damage like the little tiny ton tonitrus i don't tonitrus i don't know how to pronounce that but i'm going to show you in my inventory the different hunters tools i have available one of them is the executioner's glove you can get that pretty early on it costs three bullets to use that's the thing about hunters tools just like your pistol there's a certain require of quicksilver bullets it's going to use so this one requires three and this one can if you scale arcane properly it can deal quite a bit of damage on your enemy especially larger elite enemies beast roar it uses only two bullets and it repels objects i rarely use this thing but i'll show you what it can do one of the op kind of weapons which cost a lot i mean the tools can do quite a bit of damage this one will require seven as you can see this is a class s if you scale arcane properly this thing is going to do a lot of work for you another one that got me past in the game is the breedus here this thing is so insane like it's disgustingly insane i beat lady maria with this thing you don't need to have a pistol at a certain point if you have these tools available to you this thing knocked her back staggered her and i was able to get so much hits in and you could even put them in a stun where you can do a visceral attack on them i beat the amygdala boss with the black sky eye the moment i got the uh old hunters dlc and i found this thing i beat the amygdala the amygdala boss with this thing because everyone complains about that boss because the most damage you can do it's it's on its head usually you're doing methods to be able to get it to crunch over so you can whack him in his brain looking head this thing automatically if you keep putting using your own blood to create more quicksilver bullets for yourself and you keep spamming this thing on its head every time you're gonna win the battle so much easier than just using uh melee ass weapons like you know the axe or such and such now this one you get early on too it's an empty phantasm shell this one applies arcane to your weapon but still at the same time you have to actually level up arcane these things are only good if you actually start leveling up arcane i ignored blood tinge because i knew i was going to eventually use these things because last year it wasn't the first time i played B bloodborne i actually even have my old profile from when i began this game and i was i got into some really crazy outfits so and then there's the old hunter's bone which quickens your rolling and your and your speed so you'll be able to flash around the arena and avoid fast enemies like the blood starved beef that just does really quick wax on you it's pretty dang amazing so i'm gonna show you what some of these tools can do they cost quite a bit especially this one i'm, I'm trying to plan this out properly so he has to be pretty close for it to work properly but look how much damage it does so you can imagine if i actually scaled this shit up it would have been freaking amazing so let's find another one shut up bitch i hate crows look how he's just stepping away like he knows what i'm gonna do to him he's like expecting the crows to save his ass 
Look at that. Everyone around him got a little bit of piece of action for me. It's pretty dang good. Since I know the other ones don't use as much, the black sky eye, I'll show you. Hi, baby boo-boos. You respawned. Okay, let's do this. Doesn't do as much, but you can spam that sucker. Pecker bullshit. There you go. There you go. Give myself some more quicksilver. Watch this. Watch. I did not expect that. Oh my god, I killed him by accident. But you see how much damage it can do? Quite a bit. Don't hate on me because you don't like me. Alright, let's try this again. Look how much damage that does. I don't have enough for this. Okay. So here is the quick step bone. Come on, boo. That's the quick step hunter's bone right there. Old hunter's bone can get you around a boss in a quick moment. Come on, boo. That's what it does. and knocks them back. Stop. Stop being mean. Alright, what is the other one? The shell. Makes your weapon magic. Scales good with this. Oh, shit. Alright, boo-boo. Come on. Damn. I'm playing this game like I'm playing Sekiro, which is bad. Ooh. I don't have enough bullets for this. As you can see, can play offset this. That's not the best fight, but I haven't fought, fought in a while, so... So basically, this weapon I have over here, I'm going to show you what it is. This weapon is the Saw Spear. You can get this early on in the game. Look what it scales mostly off of. It doesn't really function that great with strength, but guess what it functions good with? Skill and Arcane. This, you can plug in elemental damage on this thing, and this thing will... Fuck up all your enemies. And I'm sorry for swearing, but it's absolutely true. This is the number one weapon in the game. So a build that can actually work these hunter's tools the best, along with that, that pointed spear, is legitimately just bringing up arcane, avoiding blood tinge. You don't need blood tinge unless you're planning to use pistols a lot and you want to parry with your pistol quite often but you can parry with your hunter's tools like i showed you with the abritus arm you can knock people back and eventually you can stun them and do a visceral attack i have annihilated enemies just with that and because i use the axe a lot i i had to bring up strength i barely focused on skill but if you're going to use the spear the saw spear Level up your skill, level up your arcane, ignore blood tinge, put uh, money into endurance, put money into vitality. You don't need all the vitality endurance in the world because you're going to gain runes to be able to bring that up by a lot. So as you can see in this, I mostly just have gaining more blood echoes per kill. So I don't even have the runes on that actually put protection on my character because you can collect those as well but the important thing is like there is a way to become a mage in this game and being a mage means you can probably do a lot more damage and do a lot more good than the pistol itself pistol is mostly for parrying and doing 
some interesting shit. As you can see, I have collected a lot of stuff. The only tool that I haven't collected is because that it, it's a whistle and that thing brings up a monster from under the ground and devours its foes certain npcs have these things and to get that one you either have to do the quest of killing vermin for voltar and you have to collect enough and then he'll eventually give you that whistle but if you want to get it faster all you have to do is kill voltar and then eventually some other hunter is going to replace him and then you have to kill that hunter too and then you end up with the whistle to call upon that beast that devours your enemies in one go so the higher you bring up arcane the more damage these things can do and they can get through your game there's some areas that just require you to be skillful like for the the orphan of goss there's no way really around that creature other than just figuring out its movesets and just getting lucky at this point. So a lot of these bosses you can get by with those tools and with certain weapons upgraded with the elemental damage. I've, I forgot to even show you there are weapons that you can use in this game that scale on arcane. I'm going to show you for one is the flame sprayer you get it from an npc at the very beginning in central yarnum which is the dude in the window eventually when you exhaust his dialogue and move on in the game he's going to give you this thing this thing when you scale your arcane high enough you can blast through a bunch of enemies with this thing and the enemies that are and and the bosses that are weak to fire oh my gosh you, you're going to be like how in the world did i not figure this out there's just certain things with this game. It gives you a lot of options to be able to progress in this game. It's hard only if you don't play it smart and you're really just wanting to get the most of just being a skilled player. But a lot of the times, all these old games from Bloodborne, and especially Elden Ring, and I don't know, I've never played Dark Souls, but... Being able to summon a character to help you in a fight is freaking amazing because really it's all about getting through your first playthrough. But I think I'm just ranting too much off on this, but really pay in mind what kind of character you're going to be building and choose on what to level because really at a certain point it's going to cost a lot of blood echoes to be able to upgrade your character and level it up properly so and this doesn't even give you the option to restat like i got spoiled with liza p in terms of its restatting and i was like shit like you could do one playthrough with liza p and you can try out different builds to be able to help you progress the rest of the game which is amazing. Bloodborne don't do that. Elden Ring don't do that. You, once you level up a, a, a character a certain way, that's it. You're stuck with that. And it's going to just like you're going to farm forever to be able to level the stats that you need. So pay that in mind. But if you get something from this, uh, please like and subscribe and comment. It helps the channel a lot. And you all have a nice day. PlayStation.